Hello, Jungan. So, um, can I ask you a question? You can always ask me a question. <laughs> yeah, so I heard that Gojek and Tokopedia right now is are in, in a discussion now where both sides, like, you know, they want to collaborate with each other, where they see potential synergies and they are keen to close this deal as soon as possible. So my question mm. is that why are they talking it, like, you know, why they are talking for collaboration now and how will their business make sense? Yep. Um, of course, it's interesting. The question is coming from you, Nanette, uh, and because you are in Indonesia and you are you are a user of uh, of order services, and you probably have some feeling about I mean how things are. Um, but but everything came this morning. Um, today is the second working day of the week, um, Tuesday, fifth of January. So um, so 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 news came out of Bloomberg saying that Gojek is in talks with Tokopedia for eighteen billion dollars merger, according to sources. And apparently, this is a fairly advanced stage, and term sheet has been signed, and we are starting the due diligence. And uh, this sort of shocked the market because, um, because just a few days ago, I mean, the attention was on the potential Grab and Gojek merger. I mean, two green companies uh, with uh, with the with the same like initial. So, um, so so lots of synergy, very overlapping business, and uh, Grab regional player Gojek. And try to be original, but uh, but this is still largely Indonesia. I think Indonesia the market share is more or less uh, the same. Um, uh, but uh, but I think that there were a couple of reports saying that um, the, the the Grab Gojek uh, negotiation was not going very well. Um, um, they couldn't agree on how much control that uh, the shareholders and team of each company uh, would get in a combined company. So um, so 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 then this came about. Um, uh, fun. F funny enough, right? I mean, so Gojek, Tokopedia, both are tech champions of Indonesia, right? I mean, the the biggest unicorns of the country. Uh, although we tend to think that uh, that Traveloka is uh, it's also very very solid business. Um, so both companies have uh, have green uh, as their color as well. So so both are um, um, around for a eight to ten comp uh, fairly long time and. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, so, and 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 this just happened. So um, so I have read lots of commentaries today about I mean how this uh, story is, and it's, it seems that most people are, are quite bullish about it, saying that okay, this is a brilliant move, and um, so a bit risky, but uh, but it created lots of synergy, and uh, I think somebody even said that this will become something like Amazon, uh, which um, which which I find a bit amusing because um, because I think there's a clear clear misunderstanding. Um, between on-demand logistics versus sort of e-commerce fulfillment, um, but uh, but 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 from 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 what I see, I think both companies are uh, in a precarious situation. So um, both are tech champions for Indonesia, and both are actually losing market share, and um, to a regional competitor. Um, Headquartered in Singapore, so 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 I, I think over the last, uh, I mean, Tokopedia used to be um, number one in Indonesia in terms of GMV, but over the last um, and a few years, it's been losing very very quickly to Shopee, and uh, and in the case of Gojek, I remember like a few years ago, Gojek was only like ninety percent of the food delivery market in Indonesia, um, so our team has just done assessment about uh, sort of. Um, um, market of uh, food delivery in Indonesia, and we, we believe that uh, Grab is now slightly ahead of Gojek. So that's a, that, that's um, a fairly significant reversal of fortunes over the very, very few quick years. Um, so so I think last night there was also this news from Grab saying that okay, um, so so their um, business has grown quite a bit last year despite um, the the impact on COVID on. On right hailing, so so that, that that that's interesting because the numbers they shared is kind of consistent with um, with what we have um, um, done in our assessment and the food delivery report um, over the last year. I mean, thanks to I mean, not thanks to, but um, because of the uh, sort of acceleration done by, I mean, induced by uh, COVID nineteen pandemic. I mean, people could, couldn't go go to uh, uh, dining restaurants, but. Um, but 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 it's interesting because I've I've been I've been struggling to understand. Um, of course, um, so both companies have created lots of um, a, a big ecosystem with lots of lots of stakeholders and lots of investors as well. But um, but but I, I kind of struggle to understand the synergy that they can potentially build. But of course, I mean, two companies uh, with different business come together will form a bigger picture. 
um, from a story point of view, it makes sense. And uh, I think both are trying to um, sort of combine, make the combined entity to go to go for IPO. And uh, I think the timing is right. And if they want to do it, they should do it fast because um, uh, second half of 2020, when I mean, people are really, really bullish about um, tech companies in Southeast Asia, and the only big one that's listed is C, uh, which owns Shopee. And I think the share price grew from 30 something to, to almost 200. Now it's like 100 billion dollar company. So, so that was um, that was quite lucky, but uh, but but also thanks to, to lots of things that Shopee built before that. So, so now at, at this uh, situation, uh, I think I think both companies are losing market share, and they're trying to combine. They're trying to create a story. Um, but I mean, a few, a few people uh, asked us. I mean, how how they compete? I mean, after this, how they compete meaningfully against Shopee against Grab? So, so one thing which is um, which is a bit um, bit strange is that um, is that it doesn't it doesn't really change the competitive dynamic, right? I mean, so having heavy e-commerce doesn't help uh, the right heading part of um, go to become more competitive and um, and maybe a little bit of a sort of um, uh, cross. Um, a reference of like customers uh, and sort of a lowered equation cost, uh, payment adoption, but payment itself is quite messy with the uh, with cross holdings of many payment companies, mobile payment companies in Indonesia. So, um, so, so this is something that um, that is a bit um, a bit hard to understand. Um, so, from, from from operations, from business point of view, um, but that said, um, we'll see how how the conversation goes. And, uh, and 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 maybe they have a better plan in mind that uh, that we just uh, we just find it a bit hard to understand at the moment. Any questions, Nanette? Awesome. So yeah. I just wanted to know whether do you do you feel that if you know if they, I mean they are already in the like the states of um, working out with the with the agreement and stuff, right? So. Mm -hmm they are doing i heard that they are doing due diligence on each other's business so mm -hmm. do you if they you know if they merge do you think they will be more successful to towards their ipo or is it better if they just do it by themselves what is your sense on that i think um i, I think if if they merge i mean it becomes a sort of easier story to uh, to tell and um and also sort of um Sort of, I mean, if you look at the commentaries, people, people, people are perceiving all the synergies. So, so there might be something which, which makes sense, and uh, some investors in the secondary market might buy it. Um, and, 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 if you go back history, so if you look at the days when uh, uh, C Group, which owned Shopee, went for IPO in, in 2017, um, they were not in. I mean, they were growing, but they were burning lots of money. So. So it, it and 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 now I mean what what reverse of fortune um, so they, they they have experienced over the last few years uh, can Gojek and Tokopia repeat the same thing um, um, there the, there are a few things which are which are quite different between these two companies versus Shopee right I mean sorry versus C C has a very very um, lucrative and profitable gaming business and of course I mean some people are arguing saying that oh. Um, the, the the gaming business is subsidizing um, the, the money losing part. Does it make sense? I mean, but 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 if I think about that, I mean, th these two companies they don't have a profitable business which can subsidize a, a growth business. So so I, I do think that um, um, Shopee's um, sort of so C strategy now makes lots of sense, and and also they're a um, they, 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 I, th I think I think the gaming part also took um, a huge growth park last year, uh, thanks to a few things, right? I mean, um, lockdown, people spend more time at home, so they play games instead of going out. And, uh, and, and, also, and also, I think in, in different regions, in, I think in Brazil, they are quite big now, uh, which also led Shopee to be build the, the e-commerce business in Brazil. And, um, and in India, so this is something which, which is not talked about. I think they prefer to be very discreet about that, but but after after India banned the Chinese apps, in, 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 including the games, I mean, I think I, I think the, the, the Garena games filled some of the void. I mean, that's a massive market that 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 tapping into. So, um, so yeah. So I don't know how. I mean, of course, for IPO, um, it's it, it probably makes sense. But 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 the competitive dynamics, it probably hasn't changed. Um, and um, and do the two companies do they do they have to worry about integration or not? If they do, that's 
that's a Herculean task. And uh, if they don't, and it's it's it's, it's probably better, but it doesn't really change the competitive dynamics, as, as, as I've said. Cool. So thank you, Jonghan, for answering the questions. Thank you, Nanette. Um, yeah, yeah. So, so keep 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 using apps, and uh, and maybe maybe there'll be more vouchers. And I still know certainly Shopee has been giving lots of coins and vouchers. Definitely, definitely. I will check out. Like I'm very interested to find out what will happen with the 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 discussion they had today. And yep. yeah, we hope to see uh, yeah. better things soon. And also, last thing before I forget. So um, so so we we, we run this blog called. called, called Called the lowdown TLD, where we publish um, some of our thoughts about things, and we do also do predictions for the year. So, so we have, I think, um, I think blogged extensively about Gojek, uh, about C, about Shopee, about Grab. So, so there's a story like last year where we talked about um, the top 20 shareholder, shareholders of Gojek, and um, and it's amazing because this, this information it's um, it, it's, it's quite easy to obtain, but uh, but somehow I mean you don't see people talk about that. I mean, who is the biggest shareholder of Gojek? And at least as 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 of uh, March last year, it was it was GIC and the sovereign fund uh, fund of Singapore. So um, so these things we just didn't talk about, and uh, I think last year we also predicted. Um, yeah, we predict the India, which a lot, uh, which is different situation. This is the homepage. Yep, we, we did some predictions for Southeast Asia, and um, and I think some of the predictions were pretty pretty grim, right? I mean, some late stage companies collapse, and which mm -hmm. actually happened, and e-commerce and, and and mobile wallet payment sectors in Indonesia consolidate. I mean, this is the trend because. Um, um, because I mean, I mean the, the market has been educated to a certain extent, but not to the extent that everyone can start ripping the value yet. Um, and, um, and and you have like a few players competing against each other and and, and, and literally like just just taking market share from each other. Of course, 2020, a few things changed. Um, so adoption uh, surged, et cetera, et cetera. But, uh, but still, uh, I think um, I think when companies sort of um, are burning money to take market share, it sort of prevents them from from really, really properly build, build a market, build the services, and uh, build the cross-selling opportunities that, that that they have. Um, so it's really fortunate that um, that I mean, food delivery took off, and the Shopee had a very, very um, profitable sister business in gaming. So, so I think you can follow our blog uh, to find out more about what we did, and I think we also have quite a bit of uh, analysis about Shopee. And uh, what they did? Oh yes, I think I think quite a lot of like uh, you know, marketing and operational issues that they did, which which really made them stand out. And uh, I mean, so 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 there's even one about uh, Shopee versus Tokopedia. So uh, so so how they I mean use the same thing and, um, and not not the same thing, but uh, but with the same theme. And Shopee spent much less money to to achieve much better results. Um, are these things able to be copied, and uh, do they have that spirit to 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 actually drive things uh, the same way Shopee does? So um, question mark. So 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 let's see how how, how that goes. But the bl the the blog uh, is simple. It's tld dot momentum dot asia, or you want to spell it out, the lowdown dot momentum dot asia. Just just follow that, and uh, you will see some of the blog entries from Nanette as well. Perfect. Okay. So thank you. Thank you, Jungan. Thank you again. And then like, thank you for everyone for watching this. Um, don't forget to like us, share comments, and then subscribe. And also, if you have any other questions, please do drop us some question that you have. Uh, and then we can help to ask you, uh, answer you the question. And then also, Jungan will also probably reply to some of your comments. So yeah, thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.